Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shruti. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. So today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist. Today we're just back in the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Season 1, Episode 7, Hidden Truths. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Bruh, that you sure it wasn't deliberate? The entire place down was easy. Oh, oh come on. Truth. I thought I would come to see how things are progressing in East City. Is he here? Gluttony? I smell him. I can smell him. The scar face just fallen. He's close. Scar is here? I still get to yeah. eat him right. Oh, yes, down to the last strand of hair. Hidden truths. Let's see if they're working together. No, no, no. no he follows not. God, right? Yeah. Something's behind you. Don't get fucked up. Scar hasn't been sighted. This case has obviously gotten to be too much for Central to handle. If I can close it quickly enough, I'll be golden. <laughs> I've got a ladder to climb. At least until I've assumed the office of Fuhrer, that is. Wow, so you are coming for the top. To display your ambitions quite so nakedly, sir. Mm. Yeah, Somebody saw I'll something. I'll be sure to remember that in the future. What? Wow. Shit. Was it a gas explosion? With everything else that's been going on around here, who knows? It's There's bloody. no mistaking it. This was definitely Scar's jacket. Have you found the body? Not yet. Take but a we're sample still searching. DNA. Either way, he can't be in good shape after losing this much blood. I want his body found. Don't take so much as a coffee break until that's done. Do you understand? Scuba oh, team Colonel, in can't you cut us some slack? At this rate, you're going to work us all to death. Shut up! I guess we'll get to work then. His ambition's getting the best of him. Looks like he got away. I didn't get my snack. Yes, I know. Maybe next time. Though, I need to report to Father about everything that's happened here. <gasps> There's nothing left here but ashes. Everything's gone. Hmm? Oh, Second Lieutenant Ross and Sergeant Brosh. To what do we owe this? Ross and Brosh. Ross and Brosh. You have been ordered to report back to the command center, sir. What is this? Just when I think I'm home free, they saddle me with more bodyguards? This is getting old! All might not be lost. There's a woman who is well acquainted with the materials in the first branch. Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Although, if you don't mind me asking, why are you wearing a suit of armor? <laughs> it's, it's a, a hobby. Hobby. <laughs> a hobby? What kind of freaky hobby is that, Lieutenant? Who are <laughs> Nervous. Chatter. Avoid eye contact. Look out the window. Oh, wow. There's got to be a million of them. Wow. Oh, is there really someone living in this place? It did. Please help me. <gasps> um, hmm? brother? There's somebody under there! <laughs> Thank you, I'm so sorry. I got myself trapped under a whole mountain of books. I How thought long? I was going to suffocate under there. Oh, jeez. Thank you so much. And you worked at the library. <laughs> oh, the library. The word itself is so beautiful. I've loved books my whole entire life, I ever so. since I first learned to read as a girl. And all I ever did was read. So they fired me. If wow. I don't find another job, I'll never be able to move my poor elderly mother into a better hospital. Oh, shit. <laughs> but I'm hopeless. Do you remember seeing any research belonging to someone named Tim Marco? Let's see, Tim Marco. Where do I know that name? Oh, yes, of course. I remember now. Really? Oh, yes, I'm absolutely positive. Is that why you're asking? Yeah, but it's too late now. They're nothing but ashes. Sorry to bother you. I remember everything that was in them. Would that help at all? <laughs> no. Didactic. I'm able to remember the content of any book I've ever read. It would take a while, but I could write them out for you. What is that? What is that? You're welcome. Here you are, complete copies of all Tim Marco's notes. <gasps> Sorry, I know five days is a long time to wait, but there was quite a lot to write down. You're not Unbelievable! Serious. There are some amazing people in this world. Written by Tim Marco. 1,000 easy recipes. 
Six cups of rice, one carrot, two onions, salt. Oh, great. Does this mean we came all this way for a cookbook? Miss, which part of this made you think it was an important document? Is no, she's there's good. something in Are you there. you absolutely sure this is a flawless reproduction of the notes? Read oh, yes, I'm 100% certain. Then thank you very much. You're incredible. Oh, I almost forgot Jessica's fee. Lieutenant, here. This is my registration number and the pocket watch for ID. I assume that I can just take this note down to the state alchemist office? <laughs> that should work. Well, <laughs> Jessica, you're a lifesaver. Bye. Bye, Jessica. Hmm. <laughs> Did he miss a decimal point somewhere? Wow. How does a boy like that have this kind of money to throw around? Alchemy is a powerful art. It can be incredibly dangerous if misused. In order it. to prevent that, alchemic research is always encrypted. These are designed to look like recipes. Oh, if they're so wow. heavily encrypted, then how are you going to be able to decipher them? It's not going to be easy. I'm the best. We'll have to use all our alchemical knowledge. Wow, sir. It might be a reference to the Green Lion of Metallurgic Alchemy. Do we have copies available of Flamel's Codex or Lambsprings concerning the Philosopher's Stone? Of course. All right. Let's do this. Wow. Full Jeez, Metal I... Alchemist. Unbelievable. Full metal They're brush and rust. <laughs> Excuse me? Sheska. Thanks to the money you gave me, Edward, I was able to move my mother to a better hospital. I really appreciate it. Right back anyway, you. you two made me feel better. It was nice to know that even a pathetic mess like me can help out sometimes. Wow. So thanks for that as well. You're not a pathetic mess. I think that the kind of dedication you show to reading is a talent all on its own. Thank you. Adam. You should remember to believe in yourself. <laughs> Yo! Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Hughes. Hughes. <laughs> told me you two were here. They talked to Colonel Hughes like he's an old friend. Just how high up are these boys? We've had a lot of cases to deal with lately, and we're still working on getting the Tucker Camara situation settled. Sorry, I guess that brings up some unpleasant memories, huh? The first branch had to burn down in the middle of all this. That's been a problem, huh? A big one. All our case records were stored in the stacks at that location, and trying to work without him hasn't been a picnic, let me tell you. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel, I think I've got exactly the person you guys are looking for. Well, I have read the military's criminal case records, and I do remember them all. That's all I needed to hear, lady. You're hired. My office pays well, so don't worry. Oh, thank you, thank you! Come on now, right to work. <laughs> <laughs> she may not be thanking us for long. How did you put it again, Al? I think dedication is a talent all on its own. Right Very smooth, right. little brother. Very smooth. <clears throat> In that case, a certain someone should hurry and get back to work, or you're gonna have to come up with a new motivational phrase. <laughs> <It's hilarious. laughs> The library's closing. They've been at it for 10 days now. I'm impressed they're still going after all this time. What did you guys do to this place? Don't get angry because you can't crack it. Throwing things won't help. We did crack it. Huh? We cracked the code and decrypted the notes. This is the devil's research. It should have been destroyed. Dr. Marco was right. It's evil. What's so evil about it? Tell the main us. ingredient for a philosopher's oh, no. stone. Somebody's soul. It's human life. In order to manufacture even a single stone, you have to make multiple human sacrifices. How could the military authorize research into something so horrible? Don't speak to anyone about this. But, sir... Please. Just pretend you never heard any of it. Oh, my God. They haven't been eating, either. Hmm. The fatigue must be catching up to them. They seem to have devoted all their energy to these notes. What was that? <gasps> oh, it was nothing, sir! <laughs> Your behavior is most suspicious! It just appears, bro. I'm sure it's hilarious. You know, Al, it's like we try so hard to grasp the truth, but it always slips away. And now that we finally have caught it, you let it turns it go? out the truth is too dangerous to hold. Oh. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I'm starting Bars. to think providing you hope 
I wonder if it'll be like this all our lives. Man, this show's heavy, bro. It's... There's something I've been wanting to tell you for a while. But I guess I've been too afraid to say it. Oh, gosh. What? I... What? I know what it said, Edward Elric. How ah! oh, tragic! <laughs> to think the legend of the Philosopher's Stone has built us such a terrible secret. <laughs> Yo, I'm Guys, sure I get to learn. It's hard to take the truth. What is it, brother? Do you remember what Dr. Marco said at the station? Huh? Look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. What you can see on the surface is only a portion of the truth. There's still more to find here. Wow. There has to be. We can narrow it down even further. Marco worked in the third laboratory. We should start with that one. It's the most suspect. Hmm. Here, what's this building used for? It was designed for the fifth laboratory, but it isn't currently in use. The building isn't structurally sound, so it's been classified off limits. It's there. There's a prison right next door. Okay, so the lie. What was the main ingredient for a philosopher's stone? You said it needed live humans. Ugh. There'd be plenty of condemned criminals in the prison. Officially, they'd be recorded as executed. They're using wow. the stone. Don't look no. at me. No. I don't like talking about this any more than you. This is why other jurisdictions could be used too. It's true. I am Sean. This has the potential of becoming a political nightmare before long. I'll look into what we've talked about tonight. You were thinking about sneaking into this building and taking a look around, weren't you? Admit it! We weren't! We weren't! We promised! <laughs> sure we weren't. <laughs> of course. Why are you running like that? <laughs> How do we get in? We could make Good our question. own entrance. They Bruh. noticed the light from the transmutic reaction. Well, in that case... Oop. So we are landing. <laughs> a clunk of metal. They're not taking any chances, are they? There it is. You're opening. Al, you need to wait here. You're fine on your own? Whether I'm fine on my own or not isn't the issue. You're too big to get through here. What is it, 48? It looks as if we've got guests. <laughs> Some daredevil idiots came to visit, did they? Damn. It's even tighter in here than I thought. Lucky I've got a small body. Oh no! I just got myself a tiny little bit squeak! What's all this number calling 66? Your lights on. It's taking a long time. <gasps> Shit! <gasps> Oh, come on! Man, this show is sick, bro. Oh, man. What is that knife gonna do to Al, anyways? Maybe knock off, knock off his helmet or something. That's funny. But, like, the story, that, like, because like, even when she first brought out all the notes, mm -hmm. first of all, that's incredible that she has that a she... <laughs> photographic memory. Yeah. So it didn't matter if anything gets burned up because she is the encyclopedia. Uh, she. Protect her at all costs. That she has the knowledge of the world under her belt, right? So then, now her being able to reproduce the notes, amazing. And then third, the notes, because I even saw when she put down the book, it said a thousand something recipes. And I was like, hmm, it didn't say alchemic recipes in the middle. Mm -hmm. It said like a thousand savory or whatever the king recipes. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And I'm like, does everything have to be talked about in, in measured form to make sure the... Um, the equations all go about correctly mm. like when he was trying to do the original human transmutation he was oh two things of salt this much of chloride this much of sodium this much of, you know what i'm saying so i thought that i thought that that's what he, what the thing translated to was just a recipe book but for different alch alchemic recipes maybe it didn't tell you what the result was you know what i'm saying but uh yeah then when he said okay you have to decipher it further you have to go to the language underneath the language <laughs> There were once two men who knew more of bloody blades than human sympathy. They snuffed out life, laughing as their weapons flew. Now... Babe... Uh, it takes a human life. 
So what is like a false one, like false one eight, partner? Several. Few, multiple, that's multiple. right. Hu multiple human sacrifices, let me be correct. Mm -hmm. Let me be um, clear. But um, so what does um, what does um, a false one like Father Cornelius require? Is it just not enough human lives? Is it like there's a we need seven and you took three and a half? Like, is it just half a philosopher's stone? The fact that it's an incomplete philosopher's stone means what? Is it the humans? Is it the human that hardens it into a stone? Is it? But true say it says it's a philosopher's stone, but it says it can take any sh it can take yeah, any it shape or whatever yeah, it, you know. Exactly. Oh my goodness. But that was and then like that was a that was a really well done episode. But like with like it was just like the book. If you looked at the sur if you looked at the cover or the surface, you wouldn't know how deep it actually goes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like same as this episode. Exactly. That's it. Oh man. And then now they now they found the spot and and when he's like oh the third one's the most suspicious he's like what what about this one the one that's been decommissioned I don't believe that for a second exactly Next and then he deciphered prison. it was because beside the prison so it's like it's literally like a it's like it's like literally having a farm beside a like we call those um a farm beside a slaughterhouse you know what I'm saying like well, that's crazy hand in hand. they work hand in hand and it's the perfect cover who would ever the the, the, the like when they, the person has been executed, it's just that they've been executed for al alchemic purposes, not executed because of their, you know what I'm saying, and disposed of because of their crimes. Not, uh, they didn't get lethal injection. They are now like, they're now a liquid how many, enhancer. How many stones can possibly be out there if that's the case? Like, how many well, I mean, people as long are on death row and how many people? Well, I mean, the thing is, it's just, it's just a matter of how many human sacrifices there are, right? Because the thing is, they could have a, st like, they could have a stash. Because the thing is, you remember, they did say that in the Ishvalian war, that the military dogs had philosopher's stones. Oh, my gosh. Right? So, they did. They had They, this they were able to amplify time. their alchemy. So these guys are creating them for their purposes. Yeah, they're getting into the hands of guys who are doing wickedness, but it's because you, you guys got all the fucking nukes that everybody keeps trying to steal them. Oh my gosh, it's getting deep. The government's involved. Of course the government's involved. They couldn't even <laughs> let Iron Man have a suit. They had to have fucking war machine. War machine, you know what I'm like, exactly. They oh, always have to have a little cat. taste, bro. Exactly. They always have to have a little taste. And the thing is, because all the best, because all of the best, like, it's just like when... It's just like the stories that people tell about like how after the Second World War that a lot of Nazi scientists came over here and to share their research. Mm. It's just like an Invincible. Uh, like, yes, Invincible is a superhero, but as soon as he saw something that could knock out Invincible, he's like, yo, get that to the boy in R&D. Let's right try and away. create a weapon. No, no, you know what I'm no. saying? Yeah. Last season, he fought up, he, went, he went against the friggin' Robocop robots, and now he's got an army of Robocop robots. You know what I'm saying? Like, always, always, always. You know what I'm saying? mm 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 mm, -mm. And the thing is, because, like I said, all the state, all the, the best chemists are state chemists. You know what I'm saying? They've got, they make sure so that gotta knock them out. the most lethal weaponry will always be under their control. You know what I'm saying? There's a next, there's a next alchemic, alchemic prodigy coming up. Look how quickly they signed him up. Right. They saw what it had done to his body and the trauma he's been through. And they're like, yo, man, when, when we need you, huh? We'll call on you because there's only a certain cases where we need a guy as powerful as you. No transmutation circle and all of that. Wow. Man. Woo wee. My goodness. I can't wait to see Al come out of this safe and sound. Because there's no... I'm sure he could defend himself. Yeah. I, I, Al, Al can. I, I, yeah. I, I assume. Yeah. I haven't if seen Al him doing can. anything too dynamic as yet. I see, I see Ed as the more... As the more... As the more war... As the more fit warrior. But I'm pretty sure with the... With the you know? When they were training together, they both looked like they were pretty formidable, you know? Yeah. Man. We'll find out next time. It, it, this is the point that we've led to and we can't wait to get on to the next point so thank y'all for joining us for this latest episode of full metal alchemist brotherhood be sure to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like the video let us know what you about the episode down in the comments and be sure to go over to our patreon and check out our full length uncut reaction of the show or simply to support our channel i'm Trudy. and i'm drink for beating the beard we're signing off until the next one Peace.